about tomorrow's proceedings, I don't know whether we are even going to proceed or not, because the Honorable Chinyamatama herself has stormed out of the committee proceedings, protesting the adjournment. She indicated that she is not available tomorrow, that the witnesses have been coming here, they have not been listened to, their, their testimonies have not been taken by the... And you wonder, who took a decision to invite them as witnesses? They said they, deserve, they have the discretion to decide the witnesses they want. That this is not a hearing where there is an accuser and an accused. In which case, the accuser would bring witnesses and the accused would also bring their own witnesses. This is not the case. They said all the, all the witnesses are committee witnesses. And they have to sit as a committee, look at the proceedings, look at the record, look at the totality of the matter and decide whether they want witnesses or not. I've been attending all the proceedings of this committee. Right from the beginning up to this very moment, nowhere has the committee ever taken a decision that they want those particular witnesses. And I was shocked to see the chairperson uh, addressing them as the committee witnesses that they introduced themselves. When did they take a decision that they need those witnesses who were brought all the way from Rwamagua? Poor boys, you sympathize with them. They are just being used as pawns in these matters. They are just pawns. They should not waste their time here. So for, to, for us, we are going to sit down and take a decision one way or the other on how we are going to proceed with this matter. You said you are considering Definitely, we, have to, we, are, we, are, we are sitting down with the Honorable Bozaki and the other members of parliament to challenge this decision of the speaker, which we consider to be a travailleur, because she has no powers. She has no authority. She is not closed with the powers and authority to suspend members unilaterally like that without even subjecting them to the due process, without even naming them as per the rules, without suspending them officially or the floor of parliament out of the blue and say, you are suspended from all the committee sittings. That is illegal. It's an illegality. It's a nullity from the beginning. And we, we are considering challenging it in the constitution. But before we do that, the committee cannot proceed before it is successfully challenged. The committees cannot proceed in this Afwaza Dibana, where they are taking unconscionable decision. One committee, like this one of, on rules and discipline, they are taking a decision to proceed in total defiance of the director, the directive of the speaker. But again, other committees, like the one on legal and parliamentary affairs, they are saying, ah, ah, ah. For them, they are complying with the directive, and actually, they have chased away some members, the Honorable Nwagaba and the Honorable Sechitoreko. So you can imagine the inconsistencies. They, this is why we are saying they are in a legal conundrum. They are entangled in a terrible legal conundrum, and extricating themselves out of this particular situation is going to be a little difficult. And the more they continue digging in, the more they continue getting deep into it, the more they, 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 they mess themselves up. I request the chair that my prayer be properly captured. It was not about only restricting the Honorable Zake from accessing the premises by, by the security at parliament. There was also another limb to it. Appearing before the committee here, in defiance of the speaker's directive, which may cause sub, I mean, other proceedings to be uh, uh, preferred against him, another charge being preferred against him, to chair, and also not to be seen like uh, he himself is coming here to oppose what the speaker decided as against other members because what we have learned chair if you can cross check here in the, uh, for consistency purposes what we have learned in the committee of legal the members who have appeared there the chair have chased them away the chair has chased them away the honorable Nwagaba and the honorable uh, of Bamunanika. They have been chased away from that committee of legal. So, do you have, do you have record for that? I've, I've, you I've, just requested, I've just requested that you cross-check. No, cross -check. you have to provide the evidence to this committee because now you, you cannot give me work to go and cross-check. Provide the evidence that some members have been chased away from what? 
Because what you are giving, the communication you are giving, you are lying to the nation. You are giving sure. false information. Can you provide, can you give evidence to ascertain your, your allegation? Do you have yeah. any proof? Yes, that I, can, I can prove it, Chief. Yeah, you do it now. You no, do not it. now. I didn't know you would de demand for evidence. No. If, you, if you require evidence, so I can it, produce it. Is, it is wrong to, to, to quote it no, now. No, it is not it wrong. It is wrong to quote it's it not now. Wrong. It's, it's not, not wrong. It's not true. I stand by what I've stated, that this is the no. correct position. They have been chased away from the committee. Uh, Are you also lying. a member of that committee? Yes. Do you sit in that committee? I've been there when you had, when you, you stood over the matter for a ruling. I have been there. So you were collecting, you know, rumors along the parliamentary corridor, which is not correct. Chair, I'm giving you, you know, facts, you're, not you're, rumors. You are a respectable lawyer. So avoid rumors. Avoid collecting rumors. You know, this issue, you cannot, you can even push it up. We proceed, my humble request for the reasons I'm going to give. Whoever is here is not here illegally or was not hijacked. Letters were written to us, meaning that those letters take precedent over the speaker's communication because the, speak, the clerk to parliament wrote letters to each one of us to come and attend this meeting. Number two, I was in the house when the speaker was giving a ruling. And the speaker did not stop any member of parliament from coming or accessing parliament. She only noted that those that are boycotting. Are you explaining what the honorable? I was trying to inform the committee so that when you have an in-house meeting, you also take no, my Ms. consideration. We, we are going to refer to the Sadly, we are going to refer to the answer. Th oh, perfect. But not Thirdly, the opinion you're giving. Okay, perfect. That's why we see a NOOP member, an honorable member, in this committee. I don't know why she was not stopped, and then the other NOOP members would be stopped to access parliament. Who is a NOOP so, member? Herself. Honorable Teddy. Yes. So I was requesting, thirdly, my other issue is that these witnesses are from Rakai district. Honorable members, let us be sincere to the taxpayers. These witnesses belong to parliament. They are going to incur the cost from parliament. They came here last week. We couldn't proceed because of the service we had of the late Honorable Margaret Panga, which was genuine. But they made their way back. So will you have them again next time? Thirdly, I think from the beginning with our rules, I think we can listen to these witnesses. Why they were invited is that you wanted to hear from what happened in Rakai. So we can proceed and hear what the witnesses are saying and keep it on record. Then for the case of judgment, that will happen when you're writing your reports. But let's listen to these voices. Thank you so much. Well, That's well, my well, humble well. appeal. Thank you, Chair. Uh, and to the media. Third, which is the last item from my communication, uh, we, the speaker, the right honorable speaker of parliament guided parliament and all its committees that our colleagues who are currently boycotting plenary should not participate in the meetings of parliamentary committees and uh, field visits by the committees. And I know that the Honorable Member of Parliament for Bamananika is in that category. Uh, I am constrained to re request him to take leave of the meeting until such time that uh, the official report to the plenary. The guidance of the speaker is binding on parliament and its uh, committees and unfortunately I will not contravene the guidance of the speaker. So honorable member kindly take leave and, and let us transact uh, the business of the committee in your absence. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Mm. The 
co communication of the chair attracts uh, reactions from the members. So if there are any reactions, I will invite the honorable members to comment. But before, before you co comment, perhaps let's permit honorable Lodu to suspend these proceedings on grounds that our client cannot access the precincts of parliament. Chair, you are aware, and it's on record, last week, the right honorable speaker issued a directive that whoever moved out of the house in protest against the ongoing abductions and also government's failure to produce a statement to that effect to give account for the disappearances that they shouldn't participate in committee proceedings as well. And the Honorable Chair, are you are aware, the Honorable Zake is one of the principal MPs who moved out of the house. Actually, not only moved out of the house, but he's one of the leaders who organized others to storm out of the house in protest against the ongoing abduction, the unabated abductions going on. And uh, the failure of the government or the lead of government business to heed to the directive of the speaker to produce a statement giving a full account. So, Chair, under those circumstances, our client wouldn't be permitted to be here. And indeed, if he made his way here, uh, there are concerns that he would face the wrath of the security uh, because they are under instructions not to allow anyone to access the committee the proceed, the, to be part of these proceedings. That is one. Two, even if the security did not interfere with his movements, definitely he would be seen to be defying the directive of the speaker. And one of the accusations being investigated by this honorable committee against my client is he, according to the record that has come out here from the witnesses who have testified before here, disrespecting the, 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 the orders of the speaker. So he wouldn't want to be in that kind of situation again. ORS would be brought here to answer those charges of defying the speaker's directive. So he's in the process of sitting with other colleagues to see how that directive can be maybe challenged in the Constitutional Court to pave way for the, this committee to proceed properly. But in the circumstances, right, I mean, Chair, you'll bear with us the directive still stands until the standoff is rescinded, rather the directive is rescinded, and the stalemate or standoff one or the other is resolved by the administration of parliament. So we pray that you be pleased to suspend the proceedings for him to be here. We so pray, Chair. Thank you. It's not ready, if you are not ready to entertain it, to listen to us and take a decision, because this is the prayer. Ordinarily, I would request, I make my prayer. You sit as a committee, you take a decision. But if that is not going to be the case, allow me, Chair, if you have taken your decision to proceed, the Honorable Zaki has got a right to have representation. We permit me, if you are proceeding that way, I withdraw from these proceedings. Because my instruction is to come and make a prayer that oh, the Honorable Zaki is incapacitated because of the circumstances occasioned by the directive of the speaker. Uh, well, well, thank you. So, the Honorable Chair, if you are proceeding without even taking a decision on this matter, Honorable I Chair. beg to withdraw no, no, no. and you accord the Honorable Zaki the right to get another lawyer because he has a right to have a representation. Uh, well, since you... Two parties step aside and... Uh give time for the members of the committee to make an in-house decision. Just like five minutes uh, a break to them and we uh, retreat here and make a decision and 
tell them our final decision. I so request. Are you thinking together? Let me hear from you, Betty. Honorable Betty Teddy. Be on record. Uh, thank you, Chair. Mine is the same, but as well, we need to grant a chance for Council, Oyeri Yasrukwago, to give him chance and fair hearing of what he has explained. Then it is not the same with the other two. Honorable Allen said we need to retreat we make a decision and we communicate to Honorable Okoye. Can we hear from uh, Honorable? We proceed, my humble request, for the reasons I'm going to give. Whoever is here is not here illegally or was not hijacked. Letters were written to us, meaning that those letters take precedent over the speaker's communication because the, spe the clerk to parliament wrote letters to each one of us to come and attend this meeting. Number two, I was in the house when the speaker was giving a ruling and the speaker did not stop any member of parliament from coming or accessing parliament. She only noted that those that are boycotting... Are you explaining what the honorable... I was trying to inform the committee so that when you have an in-house meeting, you also take no, my Ms. consideration. We, we are going to refer to the answer. Thirdly, the reason... We are going to refer to the answer. Th oh, perfect. But not Thirdly, the opinion you are giving. Okay, perfect. That's why we see a NOOP member, an honorable member, in this committee, I don't know why she was not stopped, and then the other NOOP members would be stopped to access parliament. Who is a NOOP so, member? Herself. Honorable Teddy. Yes. So I was requesting, thirdly, my other issue is that these witnesses are from Rakai district. Honorable members, let us be sincere to the taxpayers. These witnesses belong to parliament. They are going to incur the cost from parliament. They came here last week. We couldn't proceed because of the service we had of the late Honorable Margaret Panga, which was genuine. But they made their way back. So will you have them again next time? Thirdly, I think from the beginning with our rules, I think we can listen to these witnesses. Why they were invited is that you wanted to hear from what happened in Rakai. So we can proceed and hear what the witnesses are saying and keep it on record. Then for the case of judgment, that will happen when you're writing your reports. But let's listen to these voices. Thank you so much. Well, That's well, my well, humble well, appeal. It, Thank you, Chair. Uh, and to the media. We don't sit as members representing political affiliations. We sit as members of parliament with the duty, with the responsibility given to them. I didn't know that Honorable Teddy was a, a NOOP member, but I was just looking at the honorable members here as committee members on rules, discipline, and privileges. How did you access here? Because I hear the NOOP members are being blocked. Is it true? How did you access? How did you beat the security? Uh, thank you, Chair. I'll, I have access to Parliament. Without any problem. Because I saw this communication yes. uh, on, on our platform. Then I had to come because I saw it very, very important to be part of this committee to have a fair hearing from both sides. Uh, uh, no, Chair, just a procedure matter. It's a procedure matter. As you retreat to take a decision, there is a, a matter which is procedure is not okay. Chair, I, I can see there are three members here, members of parliament, Around. with the chair. So you are only four members here. For this committee to take a valid decision binding, there must be quorum. And uh, chair, well, well, you chair, you know, can I which, make my presentation? Then because, you, you, see, you take a decision. 
You have to follow the rules, no, the rules of procedure. Chair, you will take a decision. You read rule yes, 197. Yes, it can be frivolous, but chair. You read rule 197, chair, and then you get this committee on how I, to proceed. I, I wish I could be listened to. Yeah. And you, chair, this is a quasi-judicial a quasi -judicial tribunal, a quasi-judicial body. This is not just any other and, committee. And this that's is, why I'm guiding this you is a tribunal. to read Rule 197 of our rules. Chair, of this is what I'm saying. This is a tribunal. I'm looking at a question of justice, a question of natural justice, where you have a committee sitting with only three members to take a decision that is binding. Well, well point taken. Uh, you see now, even you're delaying yourself. We have given you five minutes to go out, then you come and we make a decision. And uh, the, 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 the fourth estates and other non-members, could you excuse yourselves? We have listened to the complaint raised by the Honorable Council representing Honorable Zake. One, on the issue of quorum. Two, that Honorable Zake cannot access the precinct of Parliament because the security would not allow him and uh, that the speaker made a ruling, and for that matter, the security could not have allowed him to access. But what I know, the security is not checking anyone uh, or blocking anyone from accessing the precinct of parliament uh, because you are a new member. Otherwise, we will, we will not be having Honorable Teddy Nambose. No, Nambose. Honorable Teddy Nambose a woman member of parliament representing Mpiji district. She's here. How did she access parliament? Yet she's a staunch member of the NUP. So that, that complaint is not correct. Two, we have also listened uh, to the concern of Honorable Kinyamatama, who has ferried about uh, five people, or more than five people, from Rakai the same, uh, uh, same meeting. And both of you, you are, uh, you, you are correct in your, in your argument, in your thinking. For this matter, let me read for you the rules of procedure of Parliament 197. It is on quorum of committees. Rule 97, 197 one states that unless the House otherwise directs all these rules otherwise provides, the quorum of a committee of the House shall be one third of its members and shall only be required for the purpose of voting. We were not going to vote and we are not voting but we are going to decide. Chair is deciding. You listen. Deciding that this matter be adjourned until tomorrow. Same day, rather, same time, same room. Uh, tomorrow, when you come, you will get Chair, really? before you conclude, tomorrow I will not be around. I will not be around the whole of this week, and I will put it in writing, so I wanted to let you know that tomorrow I can't make it. Well, you people, you gave us work, and you're giving also money to the fourth estates because they are getting news, something to write. Definitely they will get money from whatever they are going to write. So you have given us work, and uh, whether you're not coming tomorrow, you will receive a communication from the club. Secondly, there is also another issue 
which we are also investigating. And we had slated it for tomorrow. For tomorrow. Same time. Same room. So we will <coughs> proceed with that, and I expect the lawyer representing Honorable Zake to come with Honorable Zake. To come with Honorable Zake. You have heard it from me. You have seen a new member here in the room. She has not been blocked. Nobody is being blocked. Zake is appearing before this committee as a witness, though he is still a member of parliament. Being suspended or being uh, uh, doesn't stop him from accessing this place. What I know, the speaker has not suspended any member from coming. There is no written communication to any member. The clerk has not issued any statement or any letter to any member preventing or stopping such a member from attending uh, parliamentary proceedings. To me, I put speaker was only threatening the privilege, the rules of privilege of the members of parliament. That is. Chair, yes, sir. I request the chair that my prayer be properly captured. It was not about only restricting the Honorable Zake from accessing the premises by, by the security at parliament. There was also another limb to it. Appearing before the committee here in defiance of the speaker's directive, which may cause sub, I mean, other proceedings to be uh, uh, preferred against him, another charge being preferred against him. Two, chair, and also not to be seen like uh, he himself is coming here to oppose what the speaker decided as against other members because what we have learned, Chair, if you can cross-check here in the, uh, for consistency purposes, what we have learned in the Committee of Legal, the members who have appeared there, the chair has chased them away. The chair has chased them away. The Honorable Nuagaba and the Honorable uh, of Bamunanika. They have been chased away from that committee of legal. So, do, you have, do you have record for that? I've just requested that you cross check. You no, cross -check. you have to provide the evidence to this committee because now you, you cannot give me work to go and cross check. Provide the evidence that some members have been chased away from what? Because what you are giving, the communication you are giving, you are lying to the nation. You are giving sure. false information. Can you provide, can you give evidence to ascertain your, your allegation? Do you have yeah. any proof? Yes, to that I, allegation? Can, I can prove it, Chief. Yeah, you do it now. You no, do not it. now. I didn't know you would demand for evidence. No. If, you, if you require evidence, so I can it, produce it. Is, it is wrong to, to, to quote it no, now. No, it is not it wrong. It is wrong to quote it's it not now. Wrong. It's, it's not, not wrong. true. I stand by what I've stated, that this is the correct position. They have been chased away from the committee. Are I'm you not also lying. a member of that committee? Yes. Do you sit in that committee? I've been there. When you, had, when you, you stood over the matter of a ruling, I have been there. So you were collecting you know, rumors along the parliamentary corridor, which is not correct. Chair, I'm giving you, you know, facts, you're, you're, not you're, rumors. You are a respectable lawyer. So avoid rumors. Avoid collecting rumors. You know, this issue, you cannot, you can even push it up. Parliament, Mujiraba, a crisis. To Kirize, Parliament, a crisis. Nabobe, Nini, Chokola, Katia, Bajifuga, Tebama, Nyi. Sipika, Alagira, Bibie. Committee and chair, you get a BBA, or rules and the discipline committee. A in a chair, Balalaba committees in Aboba Colabiabu. Can you imagine? Chair, when a Gambian theater money speaker be a lagger last week. Chairman, you are committee. Speaker, a yaliku for your parliament. I didn't answer. Gagamba Talaba committee, you're not a Kiriza member of parliament. A year Karaka say your full manga gamantino, bagala kuma funa list is a statement. Statement ya government kwabo, abantu ababuzi duao. Speaker yaliku record, yaliku fro ya parliament. Nari subi dentine honorable chair ono or name. 
na ali subide ne boya ali badeti yali mu house nti answered ya jisomanti ali ntach ne speaker chikulaga crisis eriwo speaker na akola ruling na ataji communicating eri ba chair yabagamba ba chair person zibo nate bakiriza omuntu yedda ali mu category eyo yabe kalakasa abafuruma mu parliament abalemedde bwe ruwa parliament okulinya mu committee kakati ono agamanti yeta jimanyi ko chewunyisa chewunyisa either either simu esimbu oba waliwe kizibwe kya manyo kiri mu house cyo kubiri tayinza ku shiftinga goro posts tituinza ku kiriza bintu bifanana byo ku shiftinga goro posts buri joba gamba zake aje wano bamunonyereza ako kakati agamanti ya fizakete tumweta aganga member wa parliament tumweta aganga witness nga mujulizi yi ba mujja ku street ba mvuna nanga member wa parliament mbu ya yogere bigambo nga member wa parliament ebiwebula member wa parliament chinyama tam kakati ate bagamenti ate tumweta aganga nga member wa parliament titumweta agaje mu category ndati itia ba muzi sanga member wa parliament so olaba balina ekigendererwa echo kwa galo kufutia anga proceedings zizi no bagende mazo ne bali mukachi 22 situation tibainza kuvayo ato manyibuli rubera mu chigu aba manye chigu bwe kifana na buli rogeza ko okulwana gano kutagala tagalo chive mu chongera kunyweza ke katimba kano boka kwa bo bwamu muri wali ola bye nkofunga baje kutte mu katimba bwe buli rogeza ko kweta guruza nga kongera kanyweza nga kongera kanyweza kati buli je bakoma okuzanyisa tinkering with this tinkering with that okulwana gana ne chino chino ne chino bayongera kwenyweza kan imagine abadale bedda ko bagende ne ba member ba parliament basatu omu babiri basatu owe mpigi owe kiryandongo no wentu etu omu babiri basatu ku committee number oze se member wa parliament mwe wunyiza nyo che tetu fete tu gonde de directive ya speaker zake obutabera wan siku gamanti agonde de directive ya speaker njagala tutegere keke na ye kwe walabina dirira bano abamujweta kake bisango sango nti ye anyoma nyoma speaker ne bye baba basaziza kumujweta kako bisango ekyo kubiri kumuteka mu mbera ngaje batadde mba no waga bo rwalero je batadde mu sekitoreko ne baba gamba mu mufurume kandi singa ze wano ne ba mufurumya anaberanga tunaberanga mu mbera bwetyo kuba kakati tekitegerekeka directive ya speaker supiko vya ya funa ruru bane era actually chitwaga lokola meeting zigenda maso nga ne ozali nga ona lebo zake yo mukuba spear heading ukulaba anti directive ya speaker tujitwala mu parliament okujicha tuli munte kateka ne ba member ba parliament abalalanga zake yo mukubo ukulaba anti ruling ya speaker yoba directive ye tujitwala mu constitutional court tujiwakanye committee is block proceeding burungi kati committee sejia za proceeding in fact decision is on committee is taking kati mumbera je zili mu ngabago bago baba member ba parliament atenga waliwo order ya speaker nayo etali etali rescinded etajidwao committee na byo byo bakola kati biri bweru wa mateka tuli mukavuyo no since ze sirim parliament eri mukavuyo kerere kati kavuyo kavuyo eno murufuti futi je baita ligo conundrum bali muka mukatubagiro akatubagiro ka mateka akatubagiro ka orders kakati tomanyani afurumya order eriwe e binding eriwe ta binding katubagiro ka mateka katubagiro ka order katubagiro ka buli chimu so yimbere yo jola ba eramba sasi doyo keta go muntu atali mu mbera ngo no chea bwe mulabye kana katubagiro kajja mutwala kaso nakuluwenta tutubasubire oh tukinde kudayo tutuli fitugenda kudayo tutule tusalewo muri de bulunji kinyama in fact kinyama tama yekanda zino kwekanda ga na furuma agambye ye enchata genda kuberawo asitu dabana abaje simanyerwa amagwa erakayi abazunza abaleta wano andi abamutumye oku hearing tena tandika baga manti committee ye, yenyene kuita bajulizi nebuzize ye committee ya tulira wa okubayita ababana bajazunga nabo bange ababojabo abatambuza abakunguza banafunya na accident makubo 
komiti emala kuuliriza mujuliza asoka kinyama tama naira bobe yeta go kuita yaba juliza balala kinyama tama atekedwa na kugamba wali ku mukomiti na gamba banange nyinayo omuntu yakola kino obe yakola kino gwensubiranga mujulizi mutufu mu musango guli go bavunana zake twabagamba da twagala speaker twagala hona le boni wagaba hona le bonambeshe hona le nyeko na balala komiti ne tugambe genda kutule irabo bebe tago bate betaga eno yatu de wo kulaba ntibana ebetaga abachinya matamu kubanga eri yatugamba nje genda kumala kutula irabo baba julize ebetaga obate betaga kati eno yatu bulijjo tubera uwano mzete wali runa ku komiti ya yetu de kumusango gwa chinya matamu gwesi gwesi beranga uwano batula dine baganti bana bajulizi bajabu ngetana nabo baba betaga so enembera yekulaga nti bali mukatu bagiru tibamanyi chakola Echo chimba budi la tebamani, 